What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you through three very effective exercises that is going to strengthen your scapula in all planes of motion. Scapular strength is essential for pretty much every single bodyweight skill whether it be handstands, planche, front lever, pressed handstand, all of that good stuff having a strong scapula is at the foundation because that is where the movement starts. When we're talking about the scapula in different planes of motion, it essentially has six major movements. We have elevation, depression, protraction, retraction, upward rotation, and downward rotation. All of these different movements are used at various different points depending on what skill we're training. So I'm going to show you how you can hit all of these six movement patterns with just three exercises and get a very effective conditioning for pretty much every single body weight skill. The first movement is the scapula pull up which I actually shared a while back on my front lever tutorial which I'll leave down below. It's an essential movement for pretty much any pulling movement so whether that be front lever, pull ups or rows you're going to need to be able to do this movement pattern to be able to get better at those movements. So the scapular pull up, you can essentially start hanging on a bar. You're gonna to try to pull your shoulder blades together. So that is the retraction. And then you're gonna lift your chest up. Initially, the easier variation is simply performing that passive to active hang and lifting the chest up slightly. This is essentially the first portion of a pull up. So it can really help to strengthen and build that pathway. As you get more advanced, you can basically lift the chest progressively higher until you eventually get to around horizontal, at which point your scapular pull-up is going to be pretty strong and this is going to translate more over to things like the front lever. You're going to want to perform this exercise with a slight pause in that retracted position. So think of it as something like a one to one tempo with a two second pause in that retracted position. You can perform this movement anywhere between five and 12 repetitions and get a pretty effective workout from it. And as I said, it's a great building block for the pull-up and the front lever. Next, we have quite a unique exercise which I actually prescribe a lot to clients and that is planche lean to press. This movement is actually going to train three different aspects of the scapular movement. It's going to train protraction primarily in that planche lean. It's then going to train upward rotation as you press into a handstand position and it's going to train elevation as you try to hold that handstand, piked handstand position at the top. As I mentioned, I use this a lot with clients primarily to build strength for the press to handstand. It's a very effective drill for that. A regression from this, so the beginner variation, the starting variation would be something as simple as a scapular push up. This is simply where you'll start in a support position and you're going to work from fully protracted and then you let your chest sink down. You're going to bring those shoulder blades together into retraction and then you're going to push back up into that fully protracted position. For the actual part, planche lean press to pike handstand position, you're going to start in a standard support position and you're going to push those shoulders into protraction. You're going to spread those shoulder blades apart. From here, you're going to lean forward into a planche lean position. So this is going to then load up those shoulders and biceps more. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to elevate our hips. And by doing so, we're going to pull our legs towards our hands creating a piked handstand position. This is where the upward rotation comes in and then when we're at the top we're also going to be pushing as far away from the floor as we can to elevate our shoulders and our scapula which gives us kind of the full position. From there you just simply walk back out into that original starting support position with protracted shoulders and then you repeat the process over again. To make this exercise harder all you do is when you get to that pike position you're going to load the shoulders more and basically start to attempt to lift those legs off the ground to load up those shoulders. You can perform this as I said before anywhere from 5 to 12 repetitions is pretty good and you want to use a similar tempo so that one to one tempo where you're going to pause for two seconds in that pike handstand position. And the final progression that you're going to want to perform is simply an L sit. This is going to give you the depression and downward rotation element completing all of those six movements of the scapula. The beginner variation would be something as simple as a support hold. This will be on something like parallel bars and we're just going to lift ourselves into a support position with our hands by our side, elbows locked and then basically pushing as hard away from the floor as we can to depress those shoulders and then try to push the hips forward or in line with the hand line and that's going to give you that downward rotation. From here we can just hold this position anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds. Once you start getting more proficient at this we can move on to something like the L sit and to do the L sit we'd be working through the basic progressions which would be tuck, single leg extended and then full L sit and we can hold this position in the L sit anywhere from 10 to 
to 30 plus seconds in that position. And this is gonna train, as I said, the depression and the downward rotation element. So that is the three exercises that I would recommend to you to incorporate in your training if you want to get a strong scapula in pretty much every single plane of motion that it moves. Not only this, but these exercises are a great foundation for pretty much every single body weight skill that you could learn. The scapula pull-up is gonna feed into the pull-up and the front lever. The planche lean to press is gonna feed into your pressed handstand and your planche. And then finally, the L-sit as well. It's the L-sit, which is a pretty iconic body weight move. But that is the end of the video, guys. If you have any scapular strengthening exercises that you particularly like to use and I haven't mentioned here, why not leave a comment down below, join the conversation and leave some suggestions for your fellow bodyweight warriors. You can also, while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is the subscribe button. We're very close to 100,000 subscribers, so feel free to give it a tap and join the bodyweight warrior tribe. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace.